Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. This time we head down to Oklahoma where the news is out. We got a new head coach and a new assistant as well. We start first with the new head coach. And it was back in May, May 17th to be exact, that uh, our guest was tabbed as the head coach of the Broncos program. He is Todd Stiley. Todd, how are you? I'm doing great, Scott. How are you doing? Good. Congratulations on the job. I know it's, uh, for for many it would be a dream come true, but as a former national champ for Central Oklahoma, coming home is a good thing. Yes, sir. It's, it has been a dream come true. We're uh, we're very excited to be back in Edmond. And, uh, you know, anybody that's wrestled at UCO uh, would love to come back and, and be the head coach here. It's, it's a, uh, a program that with a strong tradition, and, and we're just really excited to be a part of that. David James is a, a name that if you, if you think wrestling, you think uh, Broncos, you think of David James, 34 years, 396 dual wins. How do you fill those shoes or do you even attempt to do it? I don't think you can uh, even attempt it, Scott. Uh, you know, David James is a legend. He's, he's done tremendous things for wrestling in the state of Oklahoma and for UCO and, and, uh, you know, he's my mentor and, and best man in my wedding. I love him dearly. Uh, you know, I can't be David James. I have to be Todd Sadley and, and I'm going to do things the way that I do. David was, was my mentor and, and I'm sure a lot of the things will be similar and, and some may not be, but I, I, I wouldn't dare try to compete with David James at all. He's, he's, uh, unbelievable. He's legend here in the state and, and at the university and and uh it's uh, an honor to follow in his footsteps well and that's exactly what you're doing you're following in in the footsteps of a legend but he was your coach too he's a guy that uh, absolutely you know helped you get your start he had a huge impact on you wasn't he he had a huge impact on me i i went into education because because of david and uh, a lot of the things i do in coaching i learned from him and uh, he's been a a tremendous mentor to me, but in Oklahoma, a lot of the guys that are coaching high school wrestling have UCO backgrounds and are directly connected with, with David. And, and uh, like I said, he's done, he's done a lot for, for the state of Oklahoma in wrestling. A lot of people feel that uh, UCO is one of the best division two programs in the country. And we happen to agree. You guys are ready to fight for national championships and to continue to mold young men into productive citizens, great athletes, great uh, academic stars as well. Let's talk about you. You were a prep standout at Tulsa Union, am I right? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I, I wrestled at Union, played football, and uh, I graduated from there. And then were a Division One qualifier at Utah State before spending your last two seasons at UCO. Um Back then, I, I want to say you were about 140, 141 pounds. Yeah, I, uh, I wrestled my senior year in high school at 141, and then I wrestled uh, at 142 all through college. And, and uh, I'm a little, little heavier than that now, Scott, but uh, uh, back <laughs> in the day, I was 142 pounds. Uh, well, I think we're all a little bit heavier than we were when we were in college, but that's okay. You're the coach now, and, and that's all right. You spent uh, two years as a grad assistant there at UCO, helping the Broncos capture the NEI team title in 89. Uh, talk to us a bit about um, the Bronx and, and, and their place within the NEI. Well, you know, back 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 in the day, we we, uh, we were really had a lot of success in NAIA and then made the transition to Division Two. But uh, again, I, like I said, I learned a lot from David. Uh, uh, a lot of the schools that are now Division Two were NAIA at that time, and it was very competitive. And it was a good, a good league to be in. You know, the Division Two, I think, uh, as you guys made your move, Division Two continues to get stronger. But the NAI is not uh, resting. The, you're, you're seeing NAI programs popping up all around the country, and uh, that just leads me to believe that uh, uh, the Broncos were in the right place, and I think you guys are in a great place now in D2. Agree? Yes, I agree totally. Uh, uh, we're proud to be in Division Two. It is very competitive, and uh, uh, it's tough. It's, it's a tough division to be in, and... Uh, 
Uh, you definitely have to bring your A game. There's a lot, a lot of parity. A lot of uh, Division two schools have, have great recruits and also have transfers from Division one schools and uh, very competitive. A lot of, there's a lot of great wrestlers and a lot of really good coaches as well. You know, one of the, one of the parts uh, a good coach will hopefully possess is being well-rounded. You have been there, done that in so many places. You were at Clemson, on to Enid High, uh, Bristol High, uh, Ponca City High, and then as a coach and principal at Claremore High School. How did you end up being the principal at Claremore High School? Well, that's a great question. Uh, I decided I wanted to get my master's degree, so I did that. And, then, and while we were at Ponca City, they, uh, they asked me if I would be dean of students, and then it turned into assistant principal. And uh, the Claremore principal's job opened up. I'm from Claremore originally. I was born there. I have a lot of family there, and uh, I applied for the job and, and ended up getting that position. So we, yeah, we loved Ponca City. It was a really tough decision, but uh, we felt like it was a great opportunity to be an administrator. So uh, uh, so we moved to Claremore, went home, and uh, enjoyed 10 years there. And uh, and then this opportunity came about, and we made the move back to Edmond. So uh, coming back to being a, a head coach, uh, your your wife Kelly, what was her response when you said, "Hey, I want to go to uh, I want to go to UCO and be the head coach"? Well, well, actually, she she uh, told me when the news broke about David, and she said, "You need to apply for that job." And uh, and my <laughs> daughter sent me a text, Aaron, my daughter, and and. Uh, uh, my family, they're a wrestling family. They they love wrestling, and, and uh, they have a lot of faith and confidence in me, and, and they strongly encouraged me to pursue this opportunity. Oh, I love it. I love it. So she's actually the one that told you about the job being open. She told me, she told me to get my resume put together and pursue the, the job, and uh, she's very supportive. We've been together now 28 years, and she's the Typical wrestling mama and coach's wife, and and uh, she she will love these wrestlers like they're her own kid. Now you have a grandson. Can you tell me his name? Yeah, uh, his name's Loudon. Loudon Dell, and uh, it's from the movie Vision Quest. So the poor kid probably doesn't have a chance in the world. But <laughs> but our family, we're wrestling people. We love wrestling, and and that's what we're all about. And that's Aaron's boy, right? That's Aaron. Aaron. My daughter's son and Greg Delk, her, her husband, wrestled in high school and also wrestled at Newman University in Wichita. I love it. Loud and I love that. It's so cool. All right, let's move on to business. Back to business, I should say. Um, can you tell me okay. how? Can you tell me how uh, the hiring of uh, uh, your your recent hire, Sam Hayeswinkle, took place? Yeah, we Sam and I had have been talking for a while and uh uh you know we we felt like sam would be a huge benefit to our program and uh you know, you know he has just unbelievable experience and and he was interested in coming here and we we had talked for quite some time trying to work out the particulars and and uh thank goodness we were able to strike a deal and, and get him here he 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 will bring a wealth of knowledge and uh, great energy, and we're proud of what we have done at UCO and the tradition here, but we also believe in being lifelong learners, and we feel like Sam will bring in a fresh set of eyes and uh, help us get to the next level and, and get, get back to competing for a national title. And there's another guy that just comes from a, a great wrestling family, and what a pedigree. Sam's had. He's been a guest of ours many, many times over the years. The guy just l thinks it, eats it, lives wrestling. I love this guy. And then, of course, you. That's have, right. He does. You, you have Kyle Evans on the staff as well. Uh, really, this is a real neat one, two, three uh, setup combo. I like this. Uh, I like this coaching staff, coach. I, I agree, Scott. We, I feel like we have one of the best coaching staffs in, in the country. Uh, you know, Kyle Evans, he, he was the assistant here before I came on. Uh, he's a four-time All-American here, two-time national champion. And I don't know what we would have done without, without 
about Kyle being here to help with the transition from DJ to myself. And uh, I, I feel very blessed and fortunate to have, have these guys on our coaching staff. And, and uh, I think it's going to be a great situation for us in the future. Both of them are, are tremendous technicians and have a lot of energy and bring a lot of excitement. And the, the guys just love them. Oh, I tell you what, Sam's, Sam's an easy guy to be around. I'll tell you that right now, coming from a Hall of Fame yes, family is. like he is. Accolades. That's right. I don't know if he's told you, but he went 140 and 0 in high school. I saw that. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> That's very impressive. All right, coach, here's the good news. So uh, you got a great coaching staff. The even better news, you've got one of the top ranked recruiting classes in the country. Uh, you don't often walk into a program with the cupboard bursting at the seams. Generally, the cupboard is somewhat bare waiting for the touch. But in this case, you guys have our number four ranked recruiting class as, as uh, ranked by Wrestling USA Magazine. What can you tell us? Well, we're excited. Uh, again, Kyle Evans, he was here uh, last year, and, and he he was very instrumental in, in the recruiting class that's coming in that, that's ranked fourth in the country uh he did a great job with those guys and uh we're fortunate that that they continue to stay committed to uco after the change we feel like it's really going to improve our program because there's going to be a lot more competition in, in the room we've got a great group coming in uh they're working hard they're young they're uh energetic and and, and i've seen a, a change in our room already and they are pushing our older guys and uh the competition in the room will definitely make us a better team you've had some transfers coach that really give you a strong ability just jumping on the mat right out of the box two-time oklahoma state champ joel dixon uh and oklahoma state champs tanner bailey at 49 and Peyton bailey at 57 i like that one two punch big time and national junior college championships placer josh latham at 197 um how does how does the uh, the transfers uh, work for you guys? Well, uh, you know, I've known the Bailey's for a long time. I knew I know Leo really well, the Bailey boys' dad, and uh, uh, we wrestled together a lot in high school. And so I, I, I've known them a long time. Once it was announced that I was going to be the new head coach, uh, Leo contacted me about, about about the boys coming to UCO, and uh, you know. Well, absolutely, we we wanted those guys. Their their pedigree is outstanding. Uh, they're they're wrestling guys, and uh, so we were excited to, to get those two guys to transfer in. And then Joel Dixon, he's had an outstanding career in Oklahoma. He's an Edmund guy, and uh, I think. Yeah, we're, we're very fortunate to get all three of those guys. I like that. Uh, there's a lot of Oklahoma flavor in this room, Coach, not just in the uh, athletes but in the coaches as well. And I think that bodes well for the future. Right. i I gotta, I got to tell you that there's there's a lot of eyeballs looking at, uh, at you and your program right now going, what is going on at UCO? I like it. We do have a lot of momentum right now. We, you know, with with our coaching staff and and with the number four ranked recruiting class, uh, we're, we're getting ready to build new facilities that will be as good as anybody's in the country. And uh, you know, we expect to compete for national titles. We our guys are working hard. Uh, we have a strong tradition. We've won 15 national championships. The last one was in 07, and we want we want to get that, that turned around. Our goal is to improve every day. Every day we expect to get better. Uh, we're working hard, and we 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 hope, hope to bring back the goal to Edmond, Oklahoma, as soon as possible. Who are some of uh, the, if if there were perennial uh, great matchups for for Oklahoma, and I'll refer to Oklahoma State and Oklahoma, the Bedlam series. Who would be the Bedlam series for you guys? I would I would say. Probably uh, at Nebraska Kearney. I yeah. think that would be uh, the bedlam for us. We're in the same region, and uh, they've had a great program the last the last ten or fifteen years. Uh, very similar in, in how we conduct business, and uh, uh, they've they've done a great job. And and uh, I I would say that's our bedlam match. And they've got a new head coach themselves. Uh, 
starting this fall. And St. Cloud State, Notre Dame have got to be right up there as well. I know uh, those coaches pretty well, and, and uh, they, they, A, know how to recruit just like you do, apparently, and, and uh, they also love to win. I mean, Frank is probably one of the most <laughs> competitive coaches on the planet Earth. And then, of course, Costanzo up at St. Cloud State, uh, he seems to have a pretty good design going on as well. Yeah, those guys are doing a great job. Uh, Notre Dame had an unbelievable recruiting class coming in, and uh, St. Cloud State, they've won the last two, and uh, they've got a great program. All three of those programs are outstanding, and, and we hope to uh, compete against them, and, and they will make us better. Coach, I appreciate you taking the time today. I'm very fascinated with what's going on at the University of Central Oklahoma uh, with your return in May and then the additions to your staff. Uh, an outstanding, uh, and I'll just say it, it's a pack roster. Uh, these are things uh, most coaches work long and hard to get. Man, you've, you got it. Congratulations to you and your family. Congratulations to the university. We appreciate your time today. Well, thank you, Scott. I appreciate it very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. I'm Scott Casper. We appreciate you watching. This is uh, Takedown, and uh, we'll have part two of this rather interesting interview as we'll be joined by uh, well, one of the legends of the sport, Sam Hayeswinkle. He'll be joining us next. Stay tuned.